Hello and welcome back to the Ambassadors of Gaming. I am one in your army of hosts, Ambassador Michael. And today I will again be speaking on behalf of Daryl uh, in regards to one of our most anticipated games of 2020, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So let's get right into what he has to say. Back in 2015, one of the most memorable platform games, which was a hybrid of platform and adventure with a Metroidvania spin by Moon Studios launched. That wonderful game was Ori and the Blind Forest. Now five years later, we have the sequel, Ori and the Will of the Wisp. The official description of this game is described by the website is, to embark on an all new adventure in a vast and exotic world where you'll encounter towering enemies and challenging puzzles on your quest to unravel Ori's true destiny. So let's have a look at the game. Pre-release, there were a few reviewers with early access that had issues. However, the version at launch so far seems very playable and feels very smooth to play and controlling Ori is easy to do. We no longer use the Souls Link like its predecessor, but the game auto saves and the upgrade system the original had has been replaced. The Metroidvania-esque feel comes into play when you unlock new abilities and return to previous inaccessible areas. It's a level design more recently seen in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Add all of this in together, it's a challenging but rewarding and still fun gameplay experience. Visually though, this game is breathtaking. Ori in the Blind Forest five years ago was one of the striking games I had seen, one of the most striking games I had seen, and this surpasses that with the newer tech in play and using 3D modeling. It still has a hand-drawn look, but now appears that the detail has more depth and better animation as well as lighting. Sound-wise, it stands out. You go to load a saved game and you have the same music from the starting menu, which is emotional and powerful. In fact, the music in game matches the on-screen action perfectly. It's a musical score that holds its own and can stand apart from the game. All the sound effects are of high quality as well. So visually and audio wise, the game shines brightly and for me matches the gameplay. Is it worth getting? Well, it has just launched on Game Pass, so it's free to download, but saying that I personally think it's worth owning and if this is your type of game, it is definitely worth buying. If it's a game you are unaware of or unsure of, it's most definitely worth a look. So. A lot that Daryl has to say there regarding the game and kind of what's going on with it. Obviously, one of our anticipated games, one of the most beautiful games in terms of art style we've seen so far in recent years. As always, friends, I will leave you with the screenshot bonus round. Until next time, I'm Ambassador Michael, and these have been Daryl's thoughts on Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Goodbye.